In this presentation, we're going to talk about the operating cycle for a merchandising company. When we think about the operating cycle for a merchandising company, we can contrast this to a service company, a service company providing a service in order to generate revenue and a merchandising company providing merchandise. The merchandise now being an added factor, adding a bit more complexity to the cycle and is of course what we want to concentrate on as the new thing, the different thing, the thing that we need to get practice with as we move from a service company to a merchandising company. The cycle will look something like this. First, we're going to be purchasing inventory. So the inventory could be anything that we are going to purchase for the purpose of reselling in order to generate revenue. Once we have the inventory, at some point in the future, we will hope to sell that inventory to a customer. We're going to say here that we're going to make the sale on account. Now we could make the sale for cash and receive payment at the point of sale. But in order to work through the standard cycle, we're going to work this cycle and we're going to say we sell something on account, meaning we invoice the client, we provide the, in, the inventory to the client selling the inventory and expect to receive payment at a later point in time. And when we do receive payment, then of course, we're going to collect the cash, decreasing the accounts receivable and increasing the cash at that time. And this will be the standard process. We're going to purchase inventory. We're going to sell it to the customer. We're going to receive cash. Now, this is going to be just an idea of what we want to keep in our mind. Of course, when we are a merchandising company, we're buying inventory. We're marking it up in order to get a profit margin. We're selling it to the customer. We're getting that cash and the cycle then will continue. Don't mix this up with the other cycles that we have talked about which are going to be the standard purchasing cycle where we can think of just the purchasing in and of itself in other words we may not be purchasing just for cash we might be purchasing on account and have a similar cycle in this process as well meaning we're going to purchase inventory on account and at a later time we're going to pay what we owe pay off the account and this cycle over here when we're dealing with the customer of course is the receivable cycle where we're typically going to invoice the client, have an accounts receivable, and then uh, collect payment at a later point. And of course, we could at some point receive cash directly from the customer. The idea of this cycle is to differentiate from the service company in that we have this added factor, this added factor of inventory. And this process will be uh, happening in one form or another where we will be purchasing inventory. The goal of the purchase of the inventory is to mark it up. That's how we generate the revenue. Once we mark it up, we sell it to the customer at the marked up price. And uh, if we sell it on account, then we increase the accounts receivable and uh, we increase the sales. Then of course, eventually we collect the cash. And once we have the cash, we have the funds in order to repeat this process to generate more revenue.